Session Sewers. I'm Colleen G. Lee and welcome to FSB TV. Now I am going to be refashioning this old men's shirt, this gorgeous shirt, and I'm going to be adding a drawstring to the lower section of it. So we're going to cut the bottom half off and then we're going to add a drawstring and I'm going to show you how to do that. It looks super cool and it's very trendy and different. So let's get started. Just place your shirt flat on the table and I am going to come up this direction from the bottom towards the upper part of the shirt and I'm going to go halfway between the last button and the next button up. So I'll just put a pin in there. That should be fine. It's a good idea to try it on and then kind of judge why you have it on your body if you want to do that. I did that before I started filming. And then I'm going to put just a pin here. Make sure because I like to make sure my my lines when I'm drawing, when I'm cutting freehand are going to be roughly the same. Yeah. There we go. And just get my scissors and then just cut straight across. Using long strokes with my scissors. There we go. The bottom half is off. It's cut off now. I'm just going to put that to one side. And then the bottom section, I'm going to make the draw the string the drawstring from this section here so i need to make sure that it's all lined up i'm going to put some pins along the cut edge i want to make sure that i've got straight edges and then I've got a little so I haven't got that much to play with as regards um, before I come to the curve here and I just want two continuous strips I'm just going to fold it in half again like so so it comes to there so this is going to make the the string and I'm probably going to need one and a half lengths of this. There's a dart in the shirt, darts in the back of the shirt, so it's causing it to not lie flat, and that's fine. So I'm reusing the pins that I've just used again. As you can see. But when you're refashioning, that's the beauty of refashioning is that you're not necessarily working with flat fabric as if you were starting from scratch and making this shirt. So it's not going to behave the way you would expect it to be. You would expect it to, so just get my scissors. And cut along there all the way down and I've got a... once you get to the end that's not a lot of wastage that's fine that's good because when you're refashioning, you want to use as much of the garment as possible. Just put that there. And then I'm going to go get my scissors inside there and then just go sew straight down. Cut, I should say. Thinking of sewing. Just hold it. It's, it's, it's got darts, so... 
it's not as going to be as straight as you would like it to be but that's fine it's just going to be the string a drawstring okay take my pins out cut right to the end Right, on oh, my way, see. Oh. I think I want it a little bit longer, so I'm gonna get open up both strips and I've got the the front of the shirt there, the button stand placing those two together, right sides together because I want the string to be quite long I've come to the side seams here I've got the side seams here so yeah, I think I'll yeah, that's going to mould it enough Just checking at one end. I'm not going to cut that much off. And now what I need to do is take it to the sewing machine and sew. So I've got a pin in there. Bring the shirt back. And then I'm going to do a casing on the shirt. Take those labels out. Don't need those. So I've got the raw edge. I'm doing a narrow turn and then another turn. So it's a double fold, a very small one to begin with, and then come to the button. And then I'm going to put a pin in place there. I'll probably have to take that button off when I come to sew. I will. It will have to come off. So a little, a little bit of hand sewing is going to be involved in there. So I'll just keep turning. Small one. And the big one. And place the in position. And get my pins. It's probably a good idea, if you don't feel that confident, doing it this way just to press and then fold. Than there. You just keep on doing that until you get to the other end. So I started there and then you're going to continue all the way until you get to the other end. So I'm now sewing the bottom of the shirt. So I'm just sewing the casing. So I'm going to do a row of stitches where I've just folded and then I'm going to do a row of stitch at the bottom as well. So this is how I am going to be sewing the string that's going to run through the casing. So I pressed both sides in towards the wrong side and I'm going to fold it one more time so it becomes that narrow. So I place it under my foot 
and just do a straight stitch all the way down to the other end. You go down. Let's hold it into place. So the casing at the bottom of the shirt is now complete. And also the string that's going to run through it is now sewn. So all I need now is a safety pin. Just put that at the end. Turn the shirt this way. I'm just going to run that through there. And there you have it, that gorgeous ruching with it. The strings are through, I could tie it into a bow if I wish. And there is your refashioned men's shirt. If you enjoyed the tutorial, give it a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment, leave those comments down below in the comment section and I will see you next time.